hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. Thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? Left it at home. Um, <coughs> then I guess we're climbing. Over here. We can swing across. Okay. Ready? You first. Okay. Where to now? Look for a way up. Go then. Up here, coming. Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Only because you said, please. I didn't, actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the remover of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I'll chosen for Halabadu? He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way across? Yep. In a good way or bad way? I'll let you know.
You're doing great, Tyna. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Sarv yet. No fun, Wood. Why he's around? Dalt will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. Now, oh. oh. how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Really? When are you going to be back here? Feels more sturdy up here. <coughs> Don't jinx us. <coughs> Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. <clears throat> Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Ready? After you. Incredible. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it.
They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions, they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Through here. Right hey, look. Armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This old Persian? Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. What the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh. Wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Well, this device looks familiar. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Right, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go.
I see what's happening. The shadows match the mirror. Right, so let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. I've got something. Lay it on me. 
You need to move the pieces so the shadows line up with the shapes on the mural. Looks like the left side should be Shiva, X, and Parashurama. The right side should be Parashurama, Tusk, and Ganesh. Got it. You should figure out which piece goes in the middle, then move the other pieces in the outer ring. All right, I'll give it a shot. The two center symbols on the mural are the X and the Tusk, so the piece in the middle should have elements of each. I think that's it. You did it. Doors open. Yeah, without any help from you whatsoever. You're welcome. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Oh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. 
What the Shiva? Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva, that's the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Belor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Belon? Oh shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Razor! I'm okay! Go! waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. Yeah. 
So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty's not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Look at this. They're yeah. making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Yeah, I remember. Right. Are you having you doubts? You take left, I take right. I don't see the dust. Do you? <laughs> what the? <laughs> nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. <laughs>
You all right? I think so. Oh, shit. Where are we? No idea. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. Is that thing carved on the floor? What do you suppose it is? Up here. I think there's a way through. <coughs> Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. <coughs> Hear that? I do. <laughs> yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. That's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Make this quick. Give me back my disc. Come get it. Need to work on your reflexes. Swing and a miss. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. Slippery. Shit. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king. Starting with you.
on to something. Whoa! <laughs> Anything! You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, uh. relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh... Can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? Good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. <laughs> Up here. Go slow. Let's get that thing open. Gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave him You knew him my history death. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sarv made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I, I could use the exercise. Shit. <laughs> 